My name is Jen Cohen, and I'm the director and the founder of The Circus Project. The Circus Project's one-year intensive training company that helps homeless and at-risk youth learn circus skills, professional integrity, and interpersonal relationship building. What we do is offer free classes to kids in need. We have three classes a week. Two open gyms where we go and practice our stuff on our own. And they also have group therapy every two weeks. And we work with them for a year to come up with a professional act at the end of the year. Yes! Our final performance is going to be a big professional act in a big professional place in front of a lot of professional people. She wants to get us off the street. She wants us to be professional level circus aerialists, acrobats. Our main focus is on acrobatics, is on aerial, and is on theater slash clown slash dance. Ladies and gentlemen, Welcome to the Circus Project's performance of Cirque Odyssey. When I met these kids, I immediately saw the deeper layers of them and wanted to do something to bring that out so that the audience could see that as well. This is one of the best nights of my life right now. One piece I think is really beautiful about how our performance has been here is that it's right outside of Park Blocks where we've all spent so much time when we were homeless. All those kids have developed in amazing ways and really embraced those parts of themselves that maybe once weren't so acceptable or once were the things that marginalized them. And in the circus, those are the things that when given light make them the most powerful. I came out here to Portland to try and find my path in life. I came here with a backpack, a sleeping bag, and a tarp, and now I've gotten off the streets, I've gotten a job, I'm in an apartment. This is proof positive that you can do anything. I grew up doubting myself, and it wasn't until I found Circus Project that things really began to fit into place. The future seems so big and so wide open for me. I've been sober for 14 months, and then I'm going to Portland Community College this winter semester. When you're focusing on these little bits, you look back later and you realize how, how grand they've all come together to be this gigantic thing. The future for these kids is really in their hands. Whatever they decide to do, whether that's circus and coaching and performing, hopefully that they can use these skills that they've developed in this year and really apply those. Because the things that you need to develop in circus, like strength, flexibility, self-care, working well with people, trust, those are the things you need in life to succeed. Before Circus Project, I was leading a life of crime and I was putting myself in danger every day and I just thought oh I'll just settle down wherever I want to and it doesn't really work that way now it's like I got myself a job I got myself an apartment and all of those dreams that I still have are just definitely more attainable because I can see the steps that I can take I can't even really fathom why Jen would want to take beat up used broken street kids and instill in us this want and somewhat of a need to be able to push ourselves and believe in ourselves and make ourselves better. There was times when I chose to be homeless and there was times when I definitely did not choose to be homeless. I feel lucky that I have been able to roll in the dirt and come up clean. Camping trip's over and the real work begins. I'm thoroughly pleased with everything that's happening now with myself and the way that I have shaped up and become who I am, with everyone else that's involved around me being who they are. This is a truly wonderful thing and I really hope that it continues on in the future because many more people need to have this opportunity in their lives. This is a wonderful one for me. These kids have been able to stick with this program for a year and that they've been able to achieve what they've been able to achieve is beyond their wildest dreams. And what I hope is that they get to realize that they can do anything that they dream about because that's what this is really about, is that those dreams are attainable. They don't come easy. You have to work really hard for them and you should never stop believing in them. <laughs>